This is the Wildcat Report. Today's feature, revitalized and ready. Because it's not related to that. It it's not related to that. <laughs> Nursing students worked on plastic patients, while others listened to instructors in an old school classroom. The similarity between the two is that all this learning took place in the El Gal Lemberind School of Nursing building. It wasn't that long ago when it looked like this. Missing ceiling panels, floor tiles unhinged, all telltale signs of flood damage. There was water intrusion in the building and that damaged a lot of the walls, sheetrock walls, uh, drop ceiling. There were a couple of different entry points. Hurricane Ian hit Daytona Beach more than a year ago. And although most of the university's exterior was fixed, it was the insides that took the most time to clean up. You start the project thinking that A, B, and C are damaged, and then after you start to open up walls, you realize that it's a little bit more extensive than you had were initially led to believe. We, we didn't have a complete appreciation for the level of damage to the roofing system. At first it was just the roofs, then we realized that the gutter, the gutter system was a problem. So that added to the, uh, to the budget along the way. That's when roofers were called in and repairs were made. The building has been inspected and deemed clear of any mold or mildew. In your reading, you may see the second word. And that's good news for these students and their instructors. What once looked like this now looks like this. High and dry for BCU's College of Nursing and Health Sciences. This has been another Wildcat Report. Thank you.